Hello everyone, I am High Treason and welcome back to Let's Play The Long Drive Part 80 We're 80 parts in <laughs> So there could be less than 10 parts to go until the end now We are driving out here We are just short of That's a haunted house, I'm not going to go up with it but we're just short of uh, 4700, we should be there in, really just, well that was a red flesh. Yeah, we're getting all the colours now. But yeah, we should be at uh, 4700 in just about 2.3 kilometres time. So, yeah, we should be about 4750 minimum by the time this, uh, this part draws to a close. And that's... Uh, we are getting close, we're getting very close. Like I said, there could be less than 10 parts left now. Could do it in uh, just 6 parts, is not infeasible. Ugh, dearie me. Stomach's uh, going on a bit of a gas fit, but... It'll get over it, you know what it's like, we know it by now. There's nothing I can do, you know, it's... Uh, it's just the way it is, I don't think that's ever going to fully go away. It's making some very strange sensations right now. It'll be fine, it's just things that it does. Like I say, I know what it's doing, it's, there's nothing I can really do. Just uh, weather it out. It's quite unpleasant to be honest. Well, it's not real painful, but it's not really very nice. Oh shit, we rode over him. See, the rabbits get smaller out here. I told you a good while back that that's a thing that will happen. We're driving fast because we're making the most of this uh, flatland because we ain't going to see much more of this. We don't have much time left for this kind of land to exist now. Not quite flooring it. I'm trying to stay around 140 because it's just a little bit safer. For not a lot of loss in uh, in time, so but it does feel slower to me. Man, we're getting white flashes. Did you see that? We're getting all the fucking colours all of a sudden. I don't know what to think about this. Maybe we don't want to meet these alien babes at the end of the road. <sighs> Imagine if the guy's mother was an alien. I'd be surprised. Yeah, we need to top that gas thing up, but I'm not concerned, I won't stop there. We'll stop the next one. <clears throat> Stomach, what are you doing? Stop it. Just stop, it doesn't even taste nice. <laughs> it doesn't taste like what I've eaten, you know, I wouldn't mind if it tasted like the sandwich I had, or like the, the hot dogs, or all the mashed potatoes, but no, it doesn't taste anything like that. It doesn't even taste like stomach acid now like it used to. It just tastes kind of... ugh. Can't really describe it. it. Tastes like how I think it would taste if you like unscrewed the trap under the sink and licked it. That's what it tastes like. At least it's not the one in the toilet. That would be worse. Still, we are pressing onward. We are... Yeah, definitely over 4700k out now. <laughs> so, we need like 513k or some about to be on target, we'll say 520. It's a bit of a taller ask, but uh, I think we can do it unless something really, really bad happens to us out here. We usually can overshoot just a bit, you know, so... Hey, who knows, this could be one of them parts where we, we smack down about 100k. We have done it, I think, twice. We've done it at least once, that's for sure. And I've never seen anyone else do that. So I'm actually quite proud of that. I mean, someone else probably has, but... Yeah, I've never seen anyone else do it. Just knock these sort of distances out that we have knocked out sometimes. In the comparatively short amount of time that we've done it. Like, you know, we really have actually ripped this game a new one compared to, to other people that I know have played it. So, hey, you know, sometimes you, you gotta just, uh, be like, you know, I, I'm sure I'm not the best person at this game, but I think I've done alright. I think we've done okay, haven't we? We're not doing too bad here. Doing pretty well, all things considered. 474, we're, uh, yeah, we're laying the smams down. We've done over 10k. 
in only about five minutes. You know, that's pretty normal for us. But it's always good to know it's happening. Always good to know that kind of thing's happening. So we do a bit of math in my head. Yeah, okay, I know what we're doing then. All right. Is that a building? Is it likely to have gas leaning it? Is it a bus shelter? Is it a workshop? Is it a bunker? Okay, looks like a workshop. We'll stop here in case it has gasoline. We might as well have a bit of adventure. I'm also just doing this gasoline one just so we have reasons to stop. You maybe you don't want me to, I actually don't know. It's now the kill. Oh, don't do that now! You have to be weary of that interaction bug. See, again, looks like uh, generators though, looks like an alternator, doesn't it? That do run on that. Wouldn't run well, but we just want gasoline. But yeah, there's a lot of signs sort of saying, hey, this game is going to have uh, electrics and, uh, and that, that would be a game changer if we had that to worry about. Okay, we'll have a look for some more gasoline. We won't look very hard because I, I want to get out of here, but it's weird how you can't uncrouch when you're on those. It's uh, concerning sometimes. Oh, oh, that's gas. That would get us a full one. That would as well. Tell you what, what about if you put both of them together? Yeah, here we go then. Uh, we'll just chuck out the one we have in there that's like slightly contaminated then. Okay, off we get. KHT. Didn't notice that before. Uh, we could, uh, in theory... There you go, now we're not wasting it. Right. Might not be uh, super simple to chuck this in here. Yeah, it'll fight us a bit, but it should be good. It's in the basket, the physics is off. That might be our last ever stop at a building. Probably not. I probably will stop at one somewhere just out of curiosity or something, but... Where I might have underestimated the fuel. Like, the distance that we'll get out of it. Because we don't know what the terrain's going to be like, and there's certain types of terrain where we're going to use more fuel. Might break something off the car, you know. The, these things can happen, and they're not that unlikely to happen, so... We probably will stop again, but... Maybe not, you know. It's not impossible that that might be our last one before we hit the end in probably six to eight parts time. Like, you know, tops. Might not even be that. Or it could be more. As I say, the length we have to go, it's a little bit random. And so, mm, can't say for certain. Ideally, we only have like eight parts to go, or twelve parts to go, and then I guess I'd be winning my bet. So maybe I went slower for a, a couple of parts just to try and uh, give me more of a chance to land it on that. I really can't, because I can't pinpoint the length of the road to within a few hundred k, and so there's not really anywhere for me to do it, unless I drove all the way to the end on my own and didn't tell you. But I didn't, so, you know, if I had, I would have told you. I mean, obviously, I drove to the end, but that was in a different seed. That was a different world, so that doesn't tell me anything other than give me a feel for how the game operates. You know, this is a different world with a different road and a different layout and different terrain. So, and even if it was the same world, all of the buildings and that would be have random contents and random vehicles, so it wouldn't really be very useful to me. I mean, I, obviously I'd know the length of the road then, but yeah, it's, uh, it would be very time consuming. Like, think how many hours that would have taken me. But maybe I did do the green car before this instead of after. I didn't, and I will do it after. As I say, I'm not going to, whoa, slidey widey. Well, nothing came off, so we'll just keep going. Mm. 
You have to do it in real life sometimes, at least when you're on a bike, like say if you go in a corner and it starts like sliding and shit, you just can't seem to get it to turn. You know, you, you sometimes you have to be like, okay, it's gonna go. Like rather than fighting this, we'll just keep going the way we're going and try to come to a stop. Like, yeah, we're gonna go in the grass, we might even hit the hedge, but we, we're just gonna have to accept it's gonna happen and work with it rather than trying to work against it. The end result isn't always good, but, you know, these situations do come about. Oh, my back. I've been sat in this position a bit too long. <laughs> Might take a couple of days off this, you know. Keep my foot now the brake pedal in case I need it. Yeah, this chair's not very comfortable, I've got to be honest. We are just going flat out now, you know, I'm, I'm actually taking that risk just for a little while. I'll probably slow down again in a moment. Yeah, getting bad vibes, I'm going to ease off a bit. Yeah, There-ish. It's quite fine control here, which isn't very easy to do on the worn-out pedals that I have. It sort of works for this game, you know, it's a worn-out car, so... Yeah, sure, we jizzed it back into looking shiny, but it doesn't fix the, the years and years of punishment it's had and the fact that it was a commie car, they're pink lights now. Ah, oh, I see what they're doing, they're garling themselves up as much as they can. Those alien babes, they've waited quite a long time for us. God, we're just going to get jumped on when we get there, aren't we? get raped by alien girls. Oh, come off it. No, not now. They've got the hubcaps. Can we not do that, please? Okay. Two hubcaps gone. Is anything else gone? Doesn't look like it. We'll just stick them back on and carry on on our way, I guess. I was sure something else would have broke, though. To be honest, I was sure I wouldn't hit the rock. I was certain I'd missed it. But yeah, we're lucky, our car's a, a pretty hard bastard, it didn't take any real hits from that, so... Off we get. Let's keep going. I'm sorry, the turn is much more subdued at this end of the game, but I want to get there. And by now, I would think you just want to get there as well. We want to see it to completion. And there's just not that much left to do at this end of the game, you know, it's... There's no changing car, there's there's no running about doing things, there's, there's just driving to the end of the road, that's all we've got left to do. I did say we were going to crash though, didn't I? I, I totally called it. Like my guts, they never let me down, my gut instincts, they're always, they're always like at least half right. Bunker, I'm not stopping, I don't need it. It's getting late, so we'll uh, stop to sleep in a moment, but that's about it. Uh, my stomach's still been weird. The fuck am I smoke's gone? I'll need those in a moment. Okay, night time, whenever you're ready, you come and make it dark, bring the lights on, I'll stop the car and sleep, and then we'll... We'll work up and we'll keep driving and we'll make more progress. Oh, that's in the shadow of the Mercer. It's ominous. White lights now. Just don't bring the yellow ones on, because then I'll turn around and I'll go home. Don't need none of that fucking piss. We don't know if alien piss is yellow, it might be green. Maybe that's what they've been signalling to us all the time. Oh man. Just my fucking luck, isn't it? There we go. It's another night gone. How many days have we been out here? Our mother better be appreciative of us driving all this way. Just to come and see her. I'll tell you, man. I won't be happy if she's not. If she's gone out. 
Oh, I've just popped to the shop. There's no excuse. You should have waited for me. You knew I was coming. But there was no food left. I don't care. You could starve. You should have waited. Oh man, there's a boat right now on the road. You want to be a road boat? Drive all the way at the end of the road in the UFO. I wouldn't do it now, like I say. I don't, I don't think we'll take another one, even if it is a road boat. That would be... How many times has it been in a flat biome? Oh, you son of a whore. Okay, what have we lost? We've certainly lost a wheel. Has it got a hubcap on it, though? Look at that. Is that even off this side of the car? It must be. Okay, there's a mirror, there's a headlight. I lose anything inside? No. Okay, I think we're alright, to be honest. I'd like to do this without getting out of the car. I don't think we're going to be able. We'll just have to get out. It should be safe from here, even if that bug's going on. Yeah, there's our uh, wing mirror. Any hood caps off? No. Hood's off. Are you going to the interaction point? There we go. Got the engine's in, the rad's in. Of course the engine's in, it's running. Uh, F tab. Rock came out of fucking nowhere. Ah, oh, come off it, don't do this to me. Game. Crashed twice and we've been lucky both times, so hopefully no more crashes and our luck is just good from now on. I can't see anything else would have really come off. Back up. Yeah, I don't see anything. Man, that was a tight hole. Hopefully the aliens are tight like that. It's not tight. I mean, we don't know how big they are. You know, maybe alien pus is smaller. Maybe it's bigger. That's not a boat. Fuck. Good job I don't need a boat, really, innit? I mean, look, it's still barely full on fuel. That might be a boat over there, though. This is going to be this whole part, like, I think I can see a boat where it now it isn't. I think I can see a boat where it now it isn't. I can see a haunty house. It's got a load anyway, so we're going to drive close and see if we can catch a glimpse of the cars. But we're not going to stop. Oh, that looks like a 2105. We might take that on the way home. Should probably go and move it out of the way of the wall or something, but yeah. I'll take my chances. I'm not taking any chances over my dead body, you will. <laughs> strife. I want to do strife on this channel someday. Such a weird game. As in the people in it, it's just a certain type of weird, and I don't know if it's designed like where, well, like, if it's intended or if it's just awkward early voice acting, but. Yeah, it's uh, people in that are their own brand of strange. I think the road just avoids that one, doesn't it? Yeah. They show up in our corners like this quite a lot, I've noticed. There's be some mathematical reason, I'm sure, but I can't begin to fathom it. Most because I don't car that much. So that is a thing we'll potentially go to on the way home. Cloud cover, can you not do this to me please? Please. <laughs> Otherwise we are making really pretty good progress, to be honest. It's a pink light again, I saw. Those poor, poor alien gulls. They must be so fucking ready for it. I am too, alien gulls. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. We're just steadily making our progress along the road. Maybe the aliens put the road in so we can get to them. 
like they're respectful. They don't want to trash our house when there's a party. So you know, they're like, no, I'll just come and trash somewhere that's five thousand kilometres away. No, well, we looked at hiring all the stuff, and it's too expensive. It was cheaper just to put a road in and cover some spot of desert five thousand kilometres away in trash and piss and shit and vomit and used johnnies and needles and fag ends and god knows what else. Where the fuck's my lighter gone? There we go. I'm back in my pocket I think so I know where it is. Okay, 501k we have done in this car now. It's double the distance we used to keep cars for. This car might actually break 1,000k. It's not in unfeasible, infeasible that it would, uh, depending on the length of the road. Especially as we probably will be driving it back the other way somewhat when we, we start coming back, you know, months after we get the... I am going to wait for the game to update, and we might be waiting forever. Because every time, the, it's a long time between updates and people always start, always oh, abandon the game, he's not developing it anymore. And then an update happens. <laughs> I could stop playing today and wake up to one tomorrow. So you never know with this guy. And his buddy, you know, you, you never, never can be too sure. Oh, what this sterlet, piece of crap sterlet cigarette. Never can be quite so sure. I feel like the flatland's got to end soon. We've been in it for a, a long while. I'm sort of seeing little mamas on the horizon now, little mermaids. Yeah, it's not a bad movie. It's alright. I guess Ariel's kind of sexy. I would ram her. I'm just kidding, she's not, not my type. Plus she's ginger, and... Well, I know what gingers are like when I'm around, so... Best avoided, I think. I, I think the Disney women are actually... really plain looking, as far as animated women go. Like, you know, I don't think they're ugly or anything, I just think they're kind of plain. They're a bit wooden. Maybe is the best way to describe it. Yeah, okay, that's that building, we ain't stopping there. Say, <clears throat> Pixar doesn't ever seem to have gotten a grasp of anime in humans. Pixar humans always look really weird. And I think they sort of lent into stylizing them, you know, just because they know they can't do it. And that's probably the best move, but they're, they're mighty strange looking. It really is just a wasteland out here, isn't it? Really, really is. It's empty. It's giving me an It's just grey and dead, and there's just nothing. Like, I'm taking the screenshot because it's so bleak. It is the end of the world as we have known it for all this time. I mean, this could be an ash biome for all we know. Shit, can you imagine if the game had volcanoes in it? I don't think it ever would, I don't think they'd really fit with it, but it could be kind of fun, like as a mod or something. We weren't running any mods, but I totally vanilla. I still, I want to know who that guy is, just because I want to know if he's running like the tabus and the fuel additives and shit, because that would just be so funny if he did say that, and he's running a bunch of mods, and I'm just kicking his ass in the vanilla game. I, I honestly would titter at that a little bit and play with his uh, wife's tits, or his sister's tits, or his mother's tits, whichever ones I can get to, that would upset him. Could you play with his tits? Well, so I assume it's a guy, just because it's the internet. And you know, it's one of the, the rules, there's no women on the internet, so... Yeah, there is these days, but most of them aren't very nice, so... 
Yeah, most of the guys aren't very nice either, in all fairness. I've considered, like, selling out and everything before and just been a total, like, for want of a better word, whore. Just shilling everything and fucking making my fucking pittance, but... It's not me, I prefer to do it by other things, I'm a bit too, too traditional. Like, I can make money off stuff, but I prefer to do it off of, like, investing in something and making, like, a, a profit on it later is more my style. And as we know, it's not necessarily a big amount. I tend to just do it because there's something I want to earn at some point. So I'll be like, well, if I want to earn that, then I'm going to have to make money. How am I going to make just enough money to buy that thing within a reasonable time frame? You know, once I have, uh, like, a, a full motorcycle license, probably in a few years, I'll probably start doing a really, really big investment scheme on something so I can eventually buy the bike I've always wanted, like, probably 20 years away. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, you got to do these things. And of course, once I have the money, I'll spend it. Because that's what it's for. You don't get to keep it at the end. You don't, you don't get to have another go with it and, like, save it and spend it next time around. That isn't how this works. Did my car survive that unscurved? I think it did. Yeah, everything's still here. We're not missing the radiator, are we? I don't think we are. No, yeah, it's still there. We'll know when it sets fire in a minute. Well, we've uh, done our target distance now, really. With a far bit of time to go. It's a grass biome, so of course we've crashed. We always crash in grass biomes. We know this. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. How much farther can we get? Ah, knock it off with your uh, Nickelodeon All-Stars. I definitely got to draw April O'Neil getting her head caved in again. Definitely have to. I don't know whether I'll have Armour doing it or I'll have the Angry Beavers doing it. And have Kid Friendly stood in the background laughing at, at them or something. Armor. I do think she'd beat April up easily. And she is kind of hot, Armour. She's hotter than April. You know, she probably does smell like cats, but she's more bangable than April O'Neil, definitely. Victorian principles proved that in uh, Leisure Suit Larry 7. She's basically Armour, right? She's got the same voice. <laughs> It really was bugging me that, like, you know, just going back and watching TMHT and then, like, where do I know this voice from? Like, this voice is really familiar to me, and I knew it would be in something that was just a million miles off of that show. Like, I feel like it's something that, you know, somewhat like that. And I, I sort of forgot about it, I think, and then I, I think I was watching uh, someone playing Larry Seven, and just the voice was there, and I'm like, I know that voice. And so, you know, I went and looked it up, and it's like, ah, 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 ah now it makes sense. Ah, stomach, knock it off. Now it is I. It's like all crampy. But I think it's just from sitting in this awkward spot. Like I said, I have to hunch over awkwardly to do this. It's just from being tall and nothing been built for people of my height, really. Stupid metric shit. Uh, yeah, so it's a bit painful. Definitely, definitely gonna move to some other fucking seat after I'm done recording this. I feel we have a little bit of time left. Probably make it five thirty. I don't want to go too much faster. Uh, it's a big flatland. This really is. It's a, a huge flatland that we're in. Massive, massive one. I don't think they're usually this big. 
Maybe terrain generators just give up at this stage. Could happen. But I do think we'll see at least one mountain range before we get to the end. Probably just before it ends. You know, you'll get a, a big fucking mountain and then you'll have just a little flat bit and then the road will end. That's what it feels like to me. Oof, we just grazed that one. So you sort of go on this weird autopilot where you, your hands just don't respond as quick as maybe they should. Can we fuck off with the cloud cover and just go night time already? Be black, you know this. So it's just, it's chair one here. And I'm talking about the PS triple. I'm talking about the wee, that wee shit. Man, how many years ago was that made? It's not impossible that there's people here who were like only born that about the time that was going on. Fucking hell. Uh, time it doesn't get any easier. Has a 100% success rate. More lights, brilliant. Yeah. Definitely getting close to them aliens now. Let's continue our journey. It's a special journey, it's a one of a kind journey that nobody's undertaken before. Fuck off, rabbit. Let's be careful now, rear vehicle loading might be late and we could get bished. Well, we didn't, and nothing loaded, so. We're alright. Stupid rocks. Let's play with statistics a bit here. I'm sure I see something up there. Ooh, this feels like uh, the road's sloping a bit now. Yep, I don't think it's fully flat here anymore. No, it is starting to, to just hump up and down just a bit. Yeah, I said I was seeing mamas on the horizon. And maybe, maybe we just might be going into the hills again and the mountains soon. So I'm glad we've gone fast this whole time. It was worth it, I feel. Wow, if the road goes between those, that would be so fucking cool. Because they're so close together. They are so fucking densely packed. We're going to spin out here. Doesn't scar me any. There you go, let's pull it straight. If you spend like... I'm sure I heard that noise then. It was like a whiny noise. I think the road's going to turn to the right. Oh, that would have been so awesome if it had gone between the other. Now, they are really close to the road. We actually had that when I was out near the end last time. Like, the last flatland I got. There was mesas closer to the road than that, actually. Are they mesas when they're all round and shit? drop looking like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't need anything from this diner. I'm not going to stop at it. We'll slow down and see if we can see some motors, but nope. Probably aren't any there. It didn't stall the game out, so... Oh, I think it just loaded in, actually. Loading things is quite slow when you get out here, isn't it? My PC is not the fastest. Look at now at the frame rate as well. Okay, there we are. We're spending more time down in the 30s than we were. It's definitely performing better than it did the last time we came out here, but it's not performing anywhere near as well as it did when we started. Holy shit, is that the time? I don't have long left. We'll probably stop it at the next building. We've covered a good distance. We are definitely on track. 
to be finishing in less than 10 parts in all likelihood. I dare say less than 8 to be honest, but I can't promise that. Less than 10, I can't promise, but I can very, very gnarly promise. I'm, I'm very, very confident at least in that. Just because I don't think there's five or six hundred k left until the end, I think there's only like three fifty, four hundred k, you know. At this stage, yeah, four hundred maybe. It's there's not a lot. There really isn't a lot to go. I mean, as I said, I don't know the length of the road, but my gut instinct says and that rarely lets me down so we're just gonna go with that we are definitely seeing little hillocks now aren't we so you know we are we are gonna be heading into the steep terrain again in the next part I would think we are starting to look push a little bit yes yeah, but it's downhill slightly this is gonna go up slightly you can see humps on the horizon My hump, my hump, my hump, my lovely lady lumps. What, so you've got fucking uh, breast cancer? Thanks for telling me that. It's generally not a good thing. <laughs> 537. Oh, I'm sure I just saw steam come out the back of my car then. Good, I need to stall that shit. I don't want it. Leave it beside the road to die somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the flat terrain sure is going to end soon, isn't it? Look at that shit. Yeah. Right on. And now we know what we're doing round here. We can handle it, me and my car. We have used a quarter of a tank since we filled it up. Maybe we will have to stop for fuel again. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we should have a 20, like, I was going to say 20 gallon, 20 litre container. 20 gallon, no one said no to that. If you could hold that much in it. But no, you can't, because it's this rip off litres bullshit. It always just comes in short when you use metric, doesn't it? That's why they use it, because they're short. <laughs> it looks like it crashes into the Mesa. I don't think it's impossible for them to spawn on the road. Like, they're not supposed to, but, you know, I don't think it's impossible that it can happen. Like, buildings and shit can spawn in the road, so why couldn't the game go bizarre and spawn a Mesa in the road? It must be possible. Now, having followed what the terrain's done might actually give you an idea about how the generation works. Like, it's almost like waves, isn't it? Where it gets higher and lower, you know. It's like a ripple. Ripple? I used to like those. Those were sort of weird tasting chocolate, but they were quite nice. I think there was like Galaxy branded, so it probably must have been made by Mars. But yeah, they were actually decent. It was sort of like a flake or like a twelve, but with galaxy chocolate. And galaxy chocolate is strange tasting stuff, but yeah, those ripples, man, they were pretty nice. I don't think they make them anymore. I can't remember having seen one of those in ages. I'd have to have a look. I can't find Libby's orange juice either. It was like my favourite non-fucking dilute orange juice, and I, I just can't see it anywhere. I don't know if they still make that. Maybe they sell it in one of the cheaper shops, Herons. That's a fucking whole business, I think. They probably have it. It's a whole, they'll be way behind the times. So, yeah, if they, anyone's going to have any of this shit, it'll be them. Dilute fruit juice is just dodgy stuff, isn't it? What I found with that is if you buy some at like Robinson's, that like, oh, it totally tastes like normal. It, it doesn't. It just tries too hard and it tastes barfy. So what you want to do is buy like the cheap juicy stuff that they use selling A to Z. Because it don't taste like oranges, but it, it did at least taste like really sweet. So it was like, oh, it's quite pleasant, you know. <laughs> Just get the cheap one. Yeah, I'm sure it's full of artificial shit, but yeah, 
it's not like you're drinking all the time. Not so much I bought in yours, it's not my kind of thing, but you know, if I if I have to be somewhere and it's all there is, then give me the cheap one. And don't bother adding water, I'll just drink the fucking the thing straight out of the bottle. Now it's oh it's poison, no it isn't. The people used to tell me that about jelly cubes, when you want to make jelly and it comes in cubes, it's like, well why am I gonna add water and make it not taste of anything and then wait hours for it to fucking set? Like, wouldn't that be better just to eat the jelly cubes? Oh, it's poison, it's poison. How is it fucking poison? Of course it's not. Just eat it like that. It has more flavour. You don't have to wait for it to fucking set. You know, and on this faffing about. And it's nice and easy to dose out, because it's in cubes, so you can measure your portion more accurately. God, people are crazy. They used to tell me those freezer packs were poison as well. Those are, which is sad, because they taste very nice. They were like ethylene glycol base, that stuff's quite sweet. Holy shit, we have done nearly 90k. 3k, well 4k from now, which I think we might just have time to do. We've got about 3 minutes left. I'm going to try and do it. Like, you know, we know we can do it, we've done it before, but I am going to just try and push out this last 4 kilometers before we have to stop should be able to. We should totally be able to do this. Ah, oh, jank road. No, not now, not now, not now. Here we go. Three more K and we'll have done 90. That might that put us ahead, actually, by quite a margin. We've done our first climb, but it was a gradual climb. It's going to get worse. We will go back in the mountains, I'm sure, as I've said. You know, it just... There's far enough left that I can totally see us going back in the mountains. By the way, I don't know why we're steering here, because <laughs> I wasn't on the wheel. I just wasn't arguing with it. It was just like happening. I was like, oh, that's nice. I mean, I was pulling on the wheel slightly, so maybe it registered, but it's more precise than the readout up there. That's not impossible. It could well be the case. Made my wheel uh, going numb is a good thing. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we have just over a minute left. Okay, what's that building? That should be, that's not on the road. It's a rock formation. Okie dokie. Well, we'll just have to stop in a minute. I don't see a building. There's no building to stop at. We're going to be dumping you in the desert again because the buildings are just too far away from each other. So we can't really bank at them anymore unless we stop early. And we ain't stopped early because we started late, so... <laughs> Some, ah, I don't know where I'm going with it. Fucking oh, cars. Oh no, there is a building. Cool, we'll stop at that. That'll get us up to our distance. We're already at our distance. There we go. We just did 90 fucking kilometers. Fuck that other dude. I'd like to see him do that without his fucking tarbos and shit that I assume he's using. Because we're just better than he is. We're just the best, boys and girls. We're just fucking the best. Nobody can touch us right now. Ah, uh, yes. Let's have a look at the oil. It's running out again. Maybe there's some in that building. I don't know. We'll do a manual save and I must remember to check the next time. In fact, I'm going to put the hood up before I save so I remember that there's something to do. There you go. Clever. Here we go. Yitter. Seven, eight. How far have we done, game? Clue me in. Tapping on my pencil, on my steering wheel. Four, seven, nine, five. We did 98 kilometers in that. We could have totally done 100. We actually had just enough time. But am I treason? Thanks for watching ever so much. I will see you in the next one. We're basically at 4800k. <laughs> We're kicking its ass.